Yeah, that Jesus was a pretty cool guy, but... So when I was an atheist, there was a time when you could call me a mythicist, which basically means someone who thinks the entire Bible is a myth. It's all a work of fiction, and Jesus specifically is an amalgam of other mythological characters. But see, where you run into trouble with that is in academia, Jesus is acknowledged as an actual historical figure. That Jesus of Nazareth existed is scholarly accepted. And even famous outspoken atheists like Richard Dawkins have had to walk back Jesus being a myth to some degree as well. Well, Jesus would probably on the whole provide a fairly good moral scaffolding. Not totally, but, but um, right. he was ahead of his time anyway. Do you, you, so you do think he was a real person? Most of the scholars I've talked to say he probably was. The evidence is not great, of course, but... And so once you have to walk that back, then all of a sudden the question comes, well, what about everything that Jesus had to say in the Bible? And I was one of those that I was like, hey, you know, Jesus was a pretty cool dude, and his teachings are pretty cool too, but so what? And there are plenty that might say this. There are plenty that might acknowledge that, okay, the historicity of Jesus, fine, so be it. And his teachings might even be pretty good stuff to live by. But I reject that he rose from the dead. I reject all the miracle claims. But see, that's just it. If Jesus didn't rise from the dead, if he was not who he says he was, then saying that Jesus was a good dude and saying Jesus was a good philosopher makes no sense because you're basically saying that you're acknowledging good moral and philosophical teachings from a crazy man. That's why it makes no sense. And one of the neat things about the Bible is that Paul even issues this challenge to Christians. He announces that this is the most important truth of all, that the resurrection has to be a real event. Because if it didn't really happen, then there's no such thing as good news. If it didn't happen, then their preaching is in vain and our faith is in vain. That if nobody has been raised from the dead, then that means Jesus wasn't raised from the dead either. And therefore that means that believers are only believing in Christ in this life alone and there is nothing else. And we as believers are most miserable and to be pitied above all. Like, that's how strong this is in the Bible. And if you're a Christian and you aren't sure whether Jesus rose from the dead, you probably shouldn't call yourself a Christian. And if you say you're a Christian and you aren't sure that the miracle events really took place, you don't think that they did, you probably shouldn't call yourself a Christian. You know, I, I think it, well, the point I'm making is that it's a very big difference to say, did he yes. exist? And maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Who cares, really? Who cares? The truth of the resurrection is the good news. It did really happen, and it's the only reason to be a Christian at all. All right, gang, that's it for this episode. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. God bless you guys.